Well, most of us start worrying about an extra kilo or two, but some people do struggle with weight on an entirely different level. Such people are those with hundreds of kilos who don't battle with the flab, but actually they do fight life or death struggles. If they continue to curb their eating addiction, then they know that their condition will lead eventually to their death. But some people get ballooned due to a genetic predisposition to obesity. Well, here are the 10 most fattest people in the world. 10. The Zombie Katakov Here's an 11-year-old boy from Russia who's known as Jambik and for setting the world record for the fattest child in the world. Weighs 147 kilograms at a height of 157.5 centimeters. At birth, his weight was reasonable for a baby. He weighed 2.89 kilograms, but he weighed 12.7 kilograms when he was one year old. And at age three, he started lifting three kilogram weights. On a diet of porridge and ice cream, he's gained nearly 50 kilograms and his weight went to 71 kilograms at the age of six. But his mother Nelia said that Jambik is just growing and that's how God created him. But let me add that Jambik practices wrestling five days a week and goes swimming often. Being an active child, he wants to be even an Olympic champion and a sportsman when he grows up. Nine, Terry Smith. Doctors told the mother of one kid, Terry Smith, who weighed a hefty 317 kilograms, to do diet or die. She was suffering from intense headaches and needing a brain scan, but being so huge, she couldn't fit into an MRI machine. This 49-year-old woman was bedbound for at least three years and needed her husband Myron's and oldest daughter Nyjah's assistance to do everything. She weighed almost 51 kilograms at the age of seven, and she had always been huge. She even claimed that she grew up on food and she never gave it a thought. At the age of 32, she couldn't walk for more than a few steps because she developed severe arthritis in her knees. In addition, when her diuretic medication got changed, her weight piled up a whopping 41 kilograms in 30 days. Now, Smith is on a weight loss schedule of exercise and diet just to qualify for a gastric bypass. 8. John Brower Minach John Brower Minach's weight probably was more than 635 kilograms and he lived from 1941 to 1983. He suffered from massive edema and his body retained at least 408 kilograms of fluid. Edema is caused due to the collection of fluid in the body's tissues. Many obese people suffered edema, but Minoc's body weight was at peak. Well, it required 13 people just to roll him over in bed. He had spent his whole life struggling with his weight. He was 317 kilograms in 1963 and was 442 kilograms in 1966. Due to cardiac and respiratory failure, he was hospitalized at the age of 37. Well, after 16 months on a strict diet of 1,200 calories per day, he got discharged from the hospital. He left behind two children and his wife, Janet, when he passed away on September 10th, weighing 362 kilograms. This couple even won a world record for the greatest disparity in weight between husband and wife. 7. Myra Rosales Myra Rosales from Texas was once accused of murdering her sister's son, and this news made headlines, but the court set her free by saying that she was too big to kill someone. Rosales, a 31-year-old woman, said in her defense in 2008 that being as fat as she was, she could not even have lifted her arm to attack her nephew, Aliso Jr. She claimed that when she fell onto her two-year-old nephew, and her weight was 495 kilograms at that time, he died because of it. But according to the investigations, he died due to a blow to the head. Then Rosales confessed that she invented the story as she wanted to protect her sister Jemaya, who had hit the boy several times earlier in the day on his head with a hairbrush. She was hospitalized when her sister was found guilty and sentenced to 15 years in jail. Her skin started stretching and developing sores as she began keeping so much water in her legs that ended up causing her severe pain. Because of the multiple folds of fat around her body, she suffered chronic skin infections. Doctors have attempted to help her out by removing fat and excessive fluid from her body. 6. Robert Earl Hughes The late Robert Earl Hughes was born in 1958, and during his lifetime, he was recorded as the heaviest human in the history of the world. Because of his malfunctioning pituitary gland, he reached the top of the scales at 480 kilograms at his heaviest. 
When he was 6 years old, he weighed 92 kilograms, and when he turned 10, he weighed 171 kilograms. On the other hand, in 1926, he passed away, and he weighed over half a ton. His contracted measles were developed into uremia, and at the age of 32, he died. Robert, who lived his whole life appearing at fairs and carnivals like a showman, made his funeral a statement as well by being buried in a piano-sized coffin. 5. Kenneth Brumley When Kenneth Brumley appeared on the Channel 4 Body Shock documentary, Half Ton Dad, he gained the attention of the world. Being a father of four kids, he had been bed-bound for four years and weighed almost 468 kilograms. Later, at the Renaissance Hospital in Houston, Texas, he was accepted as a gastric bypass patient, but a fire crew had to demolish a wall to get him out of the house to the hospital. To begin with his treatment, he was restricted to a diet of 1,200 calories a day. In 40 days, he lost 76 kilograms on the diet. To remove the 18-kilogram tumors from between his legs, doctors had to do the gastric bypass in stages. Each surgical removal stage lasted for five hours. Well, even if only for a few seconds, he was able to stand on his own feet by the end of the documentary. 4. Manuel Uribe Manuel Uribe was born in 1965 in Monterrey, Nuevo Leon, Mexico. He is known for gaining weight of six men. He reached a peak weight of around 597 kilograms with a diet of tacos and pizza. He was even bed-bound since 2001. He aspired to leave his room and explore outside in the world, but he was dependent on his mother. Manuel claimed he was normal when he was growing up. Even his weight was 7.5 pounds when he was born. When he hit his 20s, his problems began, such as having a big appetite. In 1927, he moved to the U.S. for work and got married. When he moved to the U.S., his weight was 280 pounds. According to him, his life in the U.S. was very sedentary. His weight ballooned to 550 pounds by consuming the fast food diet of the U.S. A growth started developing in his right thigh that restricted his movement. He reduced his weight to 360 kilograms with the help of doctors and nutritionists. It was falsely rumored that Manuel had died in mid-2009 because in February of 2012, it was reported that he weighed 440 pounds. 3. Donna Simpson 45 years old, Donna Simpson is an American resident. In 2008, she shared her wish to become one of the world's heaviest women. For that, she set up a website where her fans paid to watch her eat as her ideal weight was 1,000 pounds. In 2008, her weight was 630 pounds, but in 2010, her weight went down to 602 pounds. When she gave birth to her daughter named Jacqueline through cesarean section in 2010, she became the Guinness World Record holder for being the heaviest woman to give birth. The birth of her daughter required 30 doctors. Well, now she has a son and daughter with her partner, Philippe Guamba. She met him on an online chat room for overweight women. She wanted to be more self-sufficient and do a better job of a mother. Therefore, she finally decided to go on a diet to decrease her weight to 370 pounds in August of 2011. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take five seconds to complete. So here's the deal. You just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you'll get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it. It really works. And now let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by a subscriber. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. This is a merged picture of Michael Hebranko. The right side picture, in which he's looking slim like ever, is from 1991, when he lost his weight and won a title of highest recorded weight loss in the Guinness Book of World Records. Although on the left side is the picture from his last days, when he was about to die because of his heart, liver, and kidney failure, and was confined to bed. Michael Habranco's story is just one of the amazing stories I've read. During his whole lifetime, he lost and gained over 3,000 pounds. He was the one who gained a special acknowledgement by a famous talk show host, Oprah, as well as the celebrity fitness coach, Richard Simmons. When he was 34 years old, his weight reached a peak of 498 kilograms, which is about 1,100 pounds. He eventually reached the lowest point of his life that he lost his will to live. Once he even tried to kill himself, 
by putting a gun into his mouth, and he almost pulled the trigger. Although once he instead wrote a letter to weight loss personality coach Richard Simmons. In 19 months, Richard lost a world record setting weight loss of more than 317 kilograms, and with his celebrity meals that Michael followed made him lose astounding weight. But after that, he quickly gained back up to weighing almost 1,000 pounds, or 453 kilograms. His seesaw kind of weight loss story continued, and he had to be repeatedly hospitalized. He lived in Staten Island, New York in March of 2012 and weighed 250 kilograms, or 550 pounds. But unfortunately, Michael Hobranco died on July 25, 2013. 1. Paul Mason Being weighing in at a shocking 980 pounds, or about 444.5 kilograms, a 51-year-old Paul Mason was once considered the world's fattest man. He claimed that he used to consume 10 times what a normal man consumes. I mean, 20,000 calories a day. He said, I couldn't stop overeating instead, knowing that this was all killing him. At the time of his father's death and the deterioration of his mother's health, he suffered a heartbreak in his 20s. That was the time it all started. Being jobless, he still managed to spend a whopping 30,000 pounds or $46,000 a year on food. He was even suggested to take a gastric bypass or if not then risk a certain death. Then he went down to 560 pounds, 181 kilograms, after a successful gastric surgery. He split with his girlfriend in 2018, and after this he got addicted to food again. In May of 2019, Paul Mason said that he had almost doubled in size, from 275 pounds to 500 pounds. Thank you very much for watching the video. Do share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell icon in order to not miss any of the upcoming videos.